everybody, Caleb here. Today I've got this Martin DCPA5. It's a Mexican made Martin. It's got a solid spruce top and we're gonna make it play good. Uh, this belongs to me. It's got a couple of issues that are kind of holding it back. It shouldn't be too, too long of a job, but I'm gonna try to get this to play real good so that I can try and sell it. So I'll set her down and we'll get right to it. So I've taken the strings of this and they haven't been strung up for a really long time. The problem I'm having first and foremost is the bridge really doesn't fit in the slot. It's got a huge amount of play and that's just, that's not really sitting well with me. So I'm gonna need a another bridge, one that actually fits in this slot properly. So I'll kind of use this for an idea about how long it needs to be, but we'll take some measurements with the calipers on how wide I really need this bridge to be. So I'll start measuring width here. Uh, 103, 103, my guess is about 103. 103,000 seems pretty good. I got 102 on that last one. I think we'll make that up. So I will get a saddle blank out and make it about the same size as this, probably a little taller and we'll come down to exactly the right height on 103,000 thick. So I'll show a little bit of working on that, but probably not a whole, whole lot. So we'll get that done first. So I was aiming for 103,007 inch, and I ended up um, somewhere right about somewhere between 103 and 101,000. So that's you know a difference of two thousandths of an inch. So we're really splitting hairs on this one, but I think that's going to be good. It seems to fit, you know, from what I can get. I've got to cut this down now to uh, the proper length and start making it making it in the shape of a saddle so that's going to be a little bit of a job i'll probably do most of that by just kind of tracing the old one on because lengthwise it was pretty good so i'll do that and then uh, we'll see where we go from there i've gone ahead and cut the ends off of this or more over one end off of this and i've started rounding this over what i find works really good for me is just have some sandpaper on something flat i just kind of work those edges rounded over. You just want to make sure you're keeping it uh, straight. You're not knocking one edge off too much. So we'll try that in the guitar now. That fits actually pretty well uh, lengthwise. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, I'm probably just going to take a pencil here. Add lots of extra height and then do a... So that gives me some idea. That's probably not enough. That gives me some idea about where that needs to be. You know, a little bit of radius on there. I'll go ahead and knock it down to that. Um, you know, I'll do a lot more fine adjustment than this. This is not the final shape of this thing. This is just to give me an idea to take off some bulk. So I'll go ahead and take that off at the disc sander and then I'll come back. And we'll look a little bit more at uh, fine shape in this thing. So I went ahead and knocked some height off the top of there and put that, uh, it's about a 12 degree bevel on that top edge. So I've got some brake angle on that saddle. Um, that way the last point it leaves is the front of the saddle. Right now, that is, I will uh, have to intonate that, mostly that B string. I'll just pretty much copy the old saddle which is mostly the B string and actually the low E. So it'll take some intonation as we get to it. But what I think I'm gonna do first is actually put some strings on this and see how high it is. Because, you know, I know it's gonna be tall, but I don't want it to be any lower than, you know, correct. <laughs> I want it to be right, right where it should be. So I'll get some strings on here and we'll measure the height. So. I've got the strings that I have left on here. I ended up breaking the G-string putting this on here, but I was actually pleasantly surprised with action height here. It's not crazy high. It is a little high, but it's not crazy high. We're about 
110 thousandths of an inch on this side, and I want it to be about 90, and we're about 100 thousandths of an inch on this side, and I want it to be about 80. So it's really, really close. Um, so that's difference of 20 thousandths on both sides, so I'll need to take 40 thousandths off the bottom of the saddle, and we should be good. Um, I'll mark that up, we'll take the height off of there, and then I'll go ahead and start uh, that intonation, try to make it match the old saddle. We'll stick it back in there. Um, before I get totally finished with this, the, the frets seem really level on this, but the board could use maybe a little bit of cleanup, so we'll oil everything that I need to, make sure it's nice and polished, and I will put all new strings on here, and then I think we're going to be done with this thing. So, that's looking good. So I've got some Sharpie on both ends of this saddle so I can keep track of both sides. What I'll do is I've got my caliper set to 40 thousandths. There you can see 40 thousandths. And I'll just use that to scratch a line along the bottom. Do that Sharpie. And then I've got a line to take off to. So I can take off up to that line until that line just barely disappears. And I know the action will be just about perfect. So we'll go over to the disc sander now and knock that off. So going through and making sure everything's nice and tight and cleaned up before we get this restrung, I've got a uh, 11 millimeter socket out. And I'm just making sure these are as tight as I can get them with my hand. You know, you really don't want to go pressing these in down super duper tight leave an indentions in the headstock veneer but there were one or two that were a little loose so that's good there now what we'll do is i will get out the be good wax and do good now what we'll do is i'll get out the be good wax and i'll do the uh the board and the bridge that should help clean those up real good the frets I think are fine. I don't think they look like they need anything. No point in me wasting time on them. So I've got this Be Good Wood Oil I'm going to use on the fingerboard and the bridge, and I'm just going to do a little dot. I'll put this on with my fingers. This is food safe, so I'm not worried about getting it on me, and it helps condition the board. I think it gives it a nice, nice color and a nice feel. And we'll wipe off the excess with a clean cloth. I am fairly certain this probably isn't real wood on the board, but it does still help, I think, to give it a good feel when they're oiled and then, you know, rubbed down. So now we'll do the bridge. I'll do it pretty much the same way. And we do the bridge pretty much just so that it matches color-wise. And it conditions it so it'll last a very, very long time. Wipe off the excess. And we're looking good. So I believe we're ready to string this thing up. I did go ahead and knock some compensation into the saddle. It matches the old one pretty well. I'll check and make sure that it's perfect, uh, you know, before I'm totally done with this thing. But we're ready to start putting some strings on here. All of these pins already have a bevel on the ends of them uh, to help put that ball end where they belong. So I'm not worried about that. can't find my usual cutter, so I'm just going to use the string cutters. I usually have a set of diagonal cutters to use. Cut those off, but obviously string cutters will work just fine. I probably won't film a whole, whole lot of stringing this up. It's the same thing I've done 
hundreds of times at this point. Just getting the strings in there, getting them a little snug to start off with, trimming the excess, and moving on. I think I'll go ahead and get this strung up and tuned up, and then I will bring you back to take one more good look at it to make sure everything is as we want it to be. So I'm just cutting the ends and them strings off of here. I've got it tuned up. I checked the action. We'll do it one more time. I'm pretty happy with it. It's sitting somewhere between 90 and 95 thousandths of an inch on the base side. And... A little less than 90 thousandths on the treble side, which is maybe a little high, but I think that's actually pretty good considering I'm going to try and sell this guitar. When you're changing hands, it's probably best to leave it a little high, then that person can dial it in wherever they want it, or have it dialed in for them. So, I think we're done with this thing. You know, what I really needed was a new saddle and a little bit of cleanup. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and go plug it in, and we'll play it, and then we'll be done here. Well, we got this thing playing really good. I've actually, it's playing well enough. I'm almost tempted not to get rid of it. But since I've got so many of these things, it definitely needs to move on to somebody who will enjoy it more. So in case I didn't make that clear, this thing is going to be for sale. As soon as I'm done with this here, it'll be listed on Reverb in case anyone out there is interested or you know someone who is interested. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this now. I've got this mic'd up. I've been pretty happy with the sound so far. It's actually mic'd and I've got uh, plugged in so you get to hear a little bit of the pickup as well. I think that gets a little better of a sound. So some sort of mix will be coming out to you. So here we go. Well, I'm really happy with this thing. I think it's playing great. Um, I imagine someone else will enjoy this greatly. I didn't really talk about it, but the nut, I've already checked it. It's at a good height. It's playing really easily. Uh, you know, that action height is sitting great. Those frets feel really good. You know, they didn't need any polishing. With that little bit of conditioning, I think it looks, looks really good. Now it's got a real bone saddle in it. It didn't come with one originally, but it does now. Um... I think it's looking really good. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really more focused on making that new saddle for it, and it turned out really good. We intonated well. I didn't, don't think I really talked about that, but I did check it. It did intonate well. So I guess we'll uh, leave it at that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.